Hey, we're the Colorists, and we're on Rock Forever Magazine. Hey guys, it's Tori from Rock Forever Magazine, and I am here right now with the Colorists. How are you guys doing today? Good. Cold. Good. I know for Florida, it is just freezing right now. I'm just waiting for the snow. Yeah. But aside from that, you guys are enjoying Orlando so far? Definitely, yeah. yeah. Try to hit up Harry Potter Land. <gasps> yep, tomorrow. You have tomorrow. to. Sunday. You have to. Well, have fun with that and definitely get the butterbeer <laughs> while you're there. And we are going to do a few finish sentence questions for you guys. These should be fun ones. So now the most surreal, surreal moment of your career so far was mm -hmm. when? Playing Coachella. I think oh, that was yeah. incredible. We grew up in Southern California, or sorry, in California. So like on the West Coast, that's that's like a, a bucket list item. So it was yeah. really cool to, to be able to do that. Yeah, I feel like all over the country, that's just a huge thing in general. So what was it like for you guys? Because I've never been to Coachella and I'm sure a lot of people watching haven't either so how was it it was that yeah, it was cool i i've been a few times and it was neat to go backstage and hang out and get to see a lot of acts that you like and look up to yeah of course so who did you guys watch in your spare time watched the yeah yeah yes um savages uh purity ring uh, two-door cinema club tons we just is we packed our schedule for the whole time we were there oh it's amazing watching so now bands. not only were you a band performing but you also were fans which is super cool and so next one your go-to dance Dance move is my um, show. I oh, oh this one, this one. Oh, that's a good one. That's good. <laughs> yeah, my dad that's taught perfect. me that one. Nice. What about you? I can't do it. There's not enough room. We'll and make room for no, you. No, no, and it's really cold. It's really cold. Oh, all right. I'm like all right. a really good break dancer, but literally, it's so cold right now. Oh, maybe okay. Next time. Yeah, maybe no break dancing yeah. right now. But when we get in the venue and it's a little warmer, I'm gonna make you do it. Okay, awesome. <laughs> perfect. So now the key to success is. I don't know it. I mean... Oh, I know it. Um, <laughs> well, personally speaking, yeah. um, obviously it's never giving up. We, mm -hmm. I mean, anytime you hit like a little hill, you just got to plow right through it instead of just getting over it, I guess. Yeah. I yeah. think you can never like kind of feel like you made it in a way because right. we're, we're always hungry and, and we got, you know, we're all friends in the band and we get along really well and, and the, the right people are, are here surrounding us. So I think that's yeah. the key, maybe surrounding yourself with the right people. Yeah. Both of you guys, great advice for anybody maybe looking to start a band or maybe not. It's good advice. And uh, next one here, your most memorable fan experience happened when? It happens a lot, actually. And and uh, you know whether it's people driving state to state to hang out or um, people following us without us knowing. I mean, it, it's like it happens. We're so thankful for the fans that we have, and and uh, it's always been exciting. There's not yeah. just one; they're all really good, kind. Mm -hmm. Someone, uh, the last two shows, people just randomly got me flowers, which was really cool. Aww. So I started putting them on my drum set. Um, I didn't get any today though. So if anyone wants to. I'll put them on my drum set. Yeah, you haven't gotten any yet. <laughs> yeah. The night is still young, so we'll see. Maybe you'll have just like a bunch all over the stage by the time the show yeah, starts. And last one here, you were the most starstruck when you met. Uh, oh shoot. Um, <laughs> we uh, our first tour was opening up for Metric, and we got to meet uh, the nice. whole band. And you know, Emily Haynes, like if you're a female in, in the indie rock scene, like she is, she is someone you look up to. So that was pretty cool. Yeah. What about you? Anyone else? No. Uh, I mean, so many people. Me. I mean, there's like, <laughs> no. I. I mean, I. I don't know. I. I, I saw Whippy Goldberg. I thought that was oh, really amazing. fun. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. thought that was pretty cool. Definitely a valid answer there. Yeah. <laughs> and we gotta talk about your music a little bit here. Your self-titled album is out now. Um, been out for about a year or so now. And so, for anybody who's unfamiliar with the music, which song from that album do you think they should listen to as a first impression? Um, I think Wishing Wells is a great one. Um, or Little Games, yeah. Or mm -hmm. If they haven't heard of us before, yeah. yeah. And but, why those two? What is it about those two that you think encompasses your music? Hmm. Uh, Wishing Wells kind of started like the snowball, which was kind of mm -hmm. fun, you know, in the very beginning. And, and Little Games was our first single, so we're growing attached True. to those two. Definitely. And another song on the album that sticks out to me is The Further. Um, what's the story behind that song? Oh, I mean, in between the band, like, we we love ghost hunting. Like, Ooh. I think that's partly, not the main reason why we tour and play music, <laughs> but, like, a small part of it is we like going from state to state and checking out the haunted scene, and yeah. that song is all about that. Yeah, and there are some haunted venues around the country. I know the Masquerade in Georgia is one of them. Um, yeah, so what has been maybe your best ghost experience on tour? 
Um, well, Colin in the band, he carries around an EMF detector, which is a re- electromagnetic frequency. So it starts beeping if some there's some sort of electromagnetic activity. And we've had a few hotels, not so much venues, but like hotels afterward where there's like a creepy corner and the thing is going oh. off. Uh, oh. But that's about it. I don't know. <laughs> How do you have peace of mind when you know that that's going on? Ah, do you just, just play it further cool and you know <laughs> write more music about it i guess definitely yeah. it's just fun for us <laughs> <laughs> and you also a few months ago released the inversion zp which was really cool because it was just remixes of a few of your songs yeah. um what made you guys want to go back and reimagine these songs well we, th- we had friends like in other bands that were wanting to do that anyway so yeah. so that was just sort of fun to collaborate with other people and have them kind of uh, uh, mix up the songs and, and do what they wanted to them and it just came out amazing so we were yeah. like we have to package this into something mm-hmm. that, that people can enjoy so that's what that's what happened yeah. definitely and you know I imagine it must be kind of difficult at first to hear remixes because these songs are like your babies I imagine mm-hmm. um, so what was it like for you guys to get to work with these artists and hear their version of your songs luckily we chose we're really picky about who we're picking to do these and we picked friends and people that we actually liked their style and luckily we really enjoyed all the remixes and and it's hard because it is our art but mixed with theirs it was pretty interesting and almost brought like a whole new playing field to these songs yeah i think it's Mm -hmm. super fun to hear something that's so familiar to you totally redone in a different way it's it's Mm -hmm. really it's really awesome so it was a lot of fun yeah and you have experienced a lot of success throughout your career especially recently and your songs have been on the radio which is very exciting so what was the story of the first time you heard your song on the radio Oh. Where I were you? What was going on? You know on? what? I remember. I think we were all in the car. It was like after a practice, and it mm-hmm. was um, K- K-Rock in, in, in Los Angeles, in LA, yeah. and mm-hmm. which is yeah, that's like the main rock radio station, and they were just spinning one of our tracks. It was it was so cool. We were just all excited in the car <laughs> listening. Definitely. Yeah, very cool. Yeah, <laughs> and I mean, what do you think is the biggest misconception about the band that maybe you'd like to clear up? On our band? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anything? I mean, the internet's a crazy place. I, I assume things kind of spread easily. I mean, there's like a lot of rumors with like new music coming out. <laughs> and no, no, I'm just kidding. No, no, uh, I'm just kidding. No, we, we're actually writing new music right now. Nice. That isn't a misconception, but um, I don't know. I don't know. What do you know? I don't know. I don't know what's a... Uh, Maybe it's a good thing if you can't think of any major yeah. ones. Yeah, I know. Everyone's really nice to us, so... That's good. Let's keep it that way. Keep it that way. <laughs> But you know, now you're mentioning new music, and you got okay. me interested. So, can you tell us anything? Maybe um, when we're gonna hear. We may be. Re- I'm not sure when this is being released, but we may be releasing a new single in the next two or three weeks. So it's nice. something might you'll, be. You, you'll hear tonight too. Yeah, we're actually trying out. This tour is the first time trying out three new tracks, so we're pretty excited. Awesome. And what else? What's coming up after this tour that uh, fans can look forward to? us back in the studio and uh, we're going to be working on the next album and like I said there'll be new music out so I'm pretty sure we'll be doing more touring coming up but uh, as for now we'll be writing and putting out some more <laughs> some more music awesome and anybody wants to keep up on social media where can they follow the bands oh all of them like Facebook just search The Colorist Twitter Instagram, Instagram. Oh, yeah. Vine. Vine. Oh, you got um, a Vine. Yeah. I like that. Be fun. Definitely up on everything then. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds good. Well, thank you guys so much for hanging out and sticking out in the cold with me. I oh, appreciate it. So oh, I know. And everybody watching, make sure you check out their music. If you haven't already, subscribe for more interviews, and I'll catch you later. Bye. Thanks.